Imagine a future where you're leading a life immersed in tranquility, even in the most tumultuous moments. Each day is welcomed with vigor, set to tackle any hurdles thrown your way. Right now, as you're watching this video, visualize yourself honing the skill of maintaining composure during trying times. Stoic philosophy enlightens us that we hold the potential to mold our responses to life's adversities. By adopting these impactful, yet simple Stoic principles, you can nurture resilience and tranquility just as the Stoics envisioned. Assimilating this wisdom from the ancient philosopher Epictetus, it's not the events that occur to you, but how you respond to them that counts. Let's delve into these steps and remember, minor changes today can culminate in a tranquil future. Let's get started. First and foremost, thank you. Your selection of this video from numerous options available is truly appreciated. It's a privilege to have you join us on this journey. As we embark, I encourage you to make a small commitment towards yourself and partake wholeheartedly. Stay engaged and immersed throughout our exploration. You're not just a viewer, you're a unique addition to this experience. Now, let's maximize our time together, staying alert and receptive to the wisdom that unfolds. The first principle is to foster self-awareness. Have you ever taken the time to really listen to your thoughts? It's rather intriguing to discover that a non-stop dialogue is going on within your mind. Sometimes this internal discourse is peaceful, while at other instances, it resembles a tornado. Importantly, this internal dialogue shapes your feelings, choices, and, consequently, your life. Self-awareness is about tuning into this dialogue, comprehending why you feel and think as you do. This realization is undoubtedly a game-changer. Now, envision yourself as two entities, one is the thinker, the one who experiences anger, distress, or exhilaration, the other, fascinatingly, is the observer, the part of you that remains non-judgmental and watches everything. This observer is your inner stoic. When you find yourself in a challenging situation, switch roles to being the observer. Observe your responses without getting consumed by them. It's vital to comprehend that it's not about repressing emotions. It's about understanding them without being dominated by them. Each time you experience a potent emotion, take a pause and ask, why do I feel this way? Identifying the root cause is of utmost importance. This introspection aids you to respond rather than merely reacting. As Marcus Aurelius aptly put it, you have control over your mind, not external circumstances. Once you grasp this, you will discover strength. This philosophy doesn't advocate ignoring emotions, but it emphasizes not allowing them to commandeer your peace. Begin with daily inconveniences, perhaps it's a sluggish internet connection or a lengthy queue at your favorite cafe. Observe your irritation, comprehend it, and then release it. Gradually, you'll develop the fortitude to apply this to larger challenges. Remember, self-awareness is akin to a muscle the more you exercise it, the stronger it becomes. And as it strengthens, so does your capacity to stay composed and calm, regardless of the challenges that life presents you with. The second principle is to nurture resilience in the face of adversity. Life is akin to an unpredictable game of dodgeball. At times, you catch the ball. Other times, it hits you squarely in the face. Picture spilling your morning coffee or getting soaked in an unexpected downpour. Frustrating, isn't it? But what about the major league curveballs losing your job, heart-wrenching breakups, or failing despite giving it your all? It's normal to feel down during these crushing moments, but what if we flip the narrative? What if we saw these adversities not as cruel gestures of fate but as tough personal trainers for our inner strength? Resilience isn't about evading. Circumstances have changed, but because your reaction has. The third principle is harnessing the potency of perspective. Life often unfolds like a roller coaster ride, doesn't it? One moment you're soaring high, the next moment you're plummeting. Amidst this chaotic ride, it's easy to get swept away. However, you possess a secret weapon that can alter the game entirely, your perspective. 
your perception of the events occurring around you can metamorphose your whole experience. It's not the events that occur to you, but how you respond to them that really matters. This is the crux of Stoicism. Now, envision your mind as a mirror. It reflects everything, the pleasant, the unpleasant, the beautiful, and the grotesque. However, the mirror doesn't respond. It merely reflects what's before it. Similarly, you can adopt the characteristics of the mirror. When a stressful incident occurs, distance yourself, observe it as if you're an impartial spectator without getting entangled in it. This detachment doesn't signify indifference. Instead, it's about retaining your peace amidst the turmoil. Every day, you're confronted with choices, how you react to an impolite remark, deal with a traffic snarl, or manage a crisis at work. These instances serve as opportunities to practice stoicism. You can't control others' actions or life's unpredictability, but you do have control over your reactions. That's where your authentic power resides. As Epictetus said, it's not the situations that affect you, but how you respond to them that matters. Cherish this, opt for tranquility over turmoil, understanding over resentment. Let's initiate with a simple step. The next time something trifling annoys you, pause, inhale deeply. Then question yourself, is getting agitated worth my peace? Visualize yourself responding calmly and rationally. With practice, this methodology becomes your default response, even to larger challenges. Remember, modifying your perspective isn't about discounting your emotions. Instead, it's about managing them in a manner that allows you to remain in charge and at peace. This shift in perspective is a potent instrument in your stoic arsenal. Utilize it judiciously and observe as your world undergoes a transformation. Not because the circumstances have altered, but because your reaction has. They're dealing with something they're not ready to share. The same applies to you. You deserve your own compassion and understanding, just as much as anyone else. Fourthly, practice daily gratitude. Engaging in gratitude isn't about pasting a happy face sticker on every issue. It's about sifting through chaos and finding that speck of gold, that tiny positive aspect, even when the world around you seems chaotic. For instance, you're running late, and you miss the bus. Yes, it's annoying, but it's also an opportunity to enjoy a few unexpected moments under the open sky. Or perhaps you've stained your favorite shirt. It's disappointing, but also a prompt to try something different from your wardrobe. The art lies in starting or ending your day by identifying three small joys, a joke you shared with a friend, the way sunlight hit the buildings in the morning, or a surprisingly good sandwich. This practice is not about ignoring life's problems, but about balancing the scales so you're not solely burdened with the hardships. Indeed, when you're having a bad day, gratitude can seem far-fetched. But that's precisely when it can transform the game. Stuck in traffic? It's an opportunity for a car concert. Overwhelmed at work? It's a chance to become stronger and sharper. The fifth principle is embracing change as a constant. Everything, seasons, trends, technology, people, is in a state of continuous flux. Resisting change is effortful and fruitless. Accepting change, however, is empowering. This acceptance makes you adaptable, flexible, and resilient. It's not about embracing every change but about not letting the fear of change dominate you. When something alters, take a moment to evaluate it. What's new? What's different? What's gone? And then, determine how you can adapt to it. In the midst of these changes, understand that you can find stability within yourself. Your core values, your aspirations, your passions, they remain steady. They serve as your anchor in life. When everything around you is shifting, return to these constants, they will guide you through. Although you can't predict the future, you can certainly prepare for it. Keep learning, growing, and pushing yourself. The more you engage in these activities, the better prepared you'll be to navigate whatever changes life brings your way. Lastly, 
Nurture compassion for yourself and others. Compassion encompasses understanding and kindness. It's about acknowledging that everyone is doing the best they can with what they have, including you. It's easy to be harsh on yourself or others when things go wrong. But what if you substituted this harshness with understanding and kindness? Treat yourself and others with the same affection you'd offer a close friend. When you stumble, instead of self-criticism, ask, what can I learn from this? Be kind to yourself. Remember, self-kindness isn't self-centered, it's necessary. You cannot give from a place of emptiness. Every individual you encounter is fighting their own battle, invisible to you. Keep this in mind when interacting with others. That seemingly rude cashier might be going through a tough time. Your friend who cancelled plans at the last moment might be dealing with something they're not ready to disclose. These situations require understanding and kindness. As Marcus Aurelius wisely advised, be lenient with others and strict with yourself. True compassion enhances the world. It starts with you and then extends outwards, enhancing your relationships, diminishing stress, and instilling peace. It may not be effortless, but it's always worthwhile. In a world that can seem harsh and unkind, be a light of compassion and see how it not only transforms your life but also impacts the lives around you. Next, nurture moments of mindfulness. Have you ever observed how frequently your thoughts are everywhere but in the present? Your body might be at work, but your mind is already planning the weekend. Or you might be sitting with your family, but your thoughts are focused on work. This is a common struggle, but being present, truly immersed in the moment, is a powerful way to minimize stress and lead a more stoic life. To practice mindfulness, start with your senses. What can you see, hear, smell, feel, and taste right now? Engaging your senses helps ground you in the present moment. Try this while eating a meal, taking a walk, or even during a conversation. By fully immersing yourself in the experience, stress and worries dissipate. You're no longer anxious about tomorrow or dwelling on yesterday, you're simply here, in this moment. This focus fosters clarity and tranquility, helping you tackle situations with a level head and a clear mind. The seventh principle is to strive for growth, not perfection. Perfection is a trap, an unreachable standard that only results in stress and disappointment. Instead, focus on growth, learning, improving, advancing. This doesn't mean you don't aim to do your best. It simply means understanding that perfection isn't the objective, progress is. Seek out opportunities for growth every day. This can be trying a new approach to solve a problem at work or learning to cook a new dish. You can find growth in both big challenges and small ones. Celebrate these moments of progress. Did you complete a difficult task? Acknowledge your effort. Did you learn from a mistake? That's growth. Celebrate it. These small celebrations foster a mindset of progress and resilience. Finally, cherish healthy relationships. We, humans, are social beings. Our relationships significantly affect our well-being. But remember, not all relationships are equal. Healthy relationships built on mutual respect, understanding, and support are crucial. They provide solace in stressful times and happiness in joyful moments. Focus on fostering strong, positive relationships. This involves truly listening to others, expressing empathy and understanding, setting boundaries, and respecting other people's boundaries. Be mindful of toxic relationships, those that exhaust you, perpetually bring negativity, or disregard your boundaries. These relationships are unhealthy and can sap your energy and happiness. Consider stepping back from these relationships, or seek help to navigate them. In essence, the quality of your relationships can significantly impact your overall well-being, so it's essential to nurture and protect them. These relationships can significantly heighten stress and increase unhappiness. It's perfectly acceptable to distance yourself from these draining relationships as your well-being should always be the priority. Relationships are similar to a garden. 
they need regular care and nurturing. Regular communication, quality time, and expressing appreciation are all vital. The number of friends you have isn't as significant as the quality of these relationships. A few close, healthy relationships are far more beneficial than numerous shallow ones. Next, embrace the simplicity in life. Life can be complex, but many of those complexities are self-imposed. Embracing simplicity means focusing on what's truly essential and letting go of the rest. It involves finding joy in simple things, like a walk in the park, a moment of solitude with a book, a conversation with a close friend. Start by decluttering, not just your physical space but your mental space too. What obligations, activities, or thoughts are not serving you? Let them go. Concentrate on what adds value to your life. This simplification reduces stress and offers clarity on what's truly important. A simple, consistent daily routine can bring a sense of peace and stability. It doesn't need to be rigid, but a general structure can help manage stress. It ensures that the vital aspects of life, work, rest, relationships, get the attention they deserve. Simplicity is about finding contentment in the present moment. It's realizing that you don't need more to be happy, you need to appreciate what you have. Striving for more is fine, but it should come from a place of contentment, not a place of lacking. As you embrace simplicity, you will find life becomes more peaceful, joyful, and surprisingly more fulfilling. In conclusion, embracing stoicism can offer invaluable insights for navigating challenging moments in your life. By applying stoic principles like simplicity, self-reliance, and mindfulness, you can develop a sense of calm wisdom and virtue in the face of stress and adversity. Remember, it may take time and effort, but stoicism is not about perfection. It's about continuous progress towards a more serene and satisfying life. Why not start today and begin learning the art of stoicism in dealing with stressful situations? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to engage with the video if the content resonated with you. I have two other videos you might find interesting as well. Until next time, stay stoic.